Definitely the biggest of the day so far. Okay, welcome back uh, to Adventures with AK. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. We are out here chasing some catfish on a little river in a new location today. There is going to be a little bit of bridge noise, as you can see. Got some cars going behind me, and then on this side of me is a train bridge, okay? But uh, we're going to be casting some baits out. I got three poles with me today. All going to be baited with some Asian carp fillets uh, cut up. Saved them after a recent trip, froze them in their blood. So we got some good, greasy, really bloody baits. Um, spots are looking good. We're going to do one more upriver on the other side of this bridge. One right behind this middle piling is a big slack water area. And then another one is going to be set up kind of in this area down here. It looks like it kind of drops off and it gets slow again. So good uh, opportunities. I don't know how deep it is, but I'm probably going to give it this, give this spot the rest of the evening just because it's a new spot. I'd like to try it. Um, so yeah, I'll quit talking. Let's get into it. All right, we are all rigged up. First pole going out, like I said, going up under the bridge, upstream a little bit. Not sure if there's gonna be any fish up there. It is moving kind of fast up there, but we'll see what we can do. Oh boy. Yeah, it's moving fast. I don't think if it holds down there, I'll, I'll let it sit there. If not, maybe we'll remove it. Second one going out is actually a double hook rig. Um, I'm putting that right behind this pillar. I think that's gonna look really good right there. Two two baits, double the scent. So let's get this guy going. That couldn't have gotten much more perfect. All right, last one is actually going right over here, like I had mentioned. I'll have to cast it from over here, then walk it back. Not an issue, but a little bit annoying. Yeah, it looks like it just drops right down, right over here. So I guess we'll see. Is my other pole getting hit? Nah. Nah. All right. We've got some baits down. Just gotta see if anything wants to hit. Oh yeah. He was right along the bank. Clobbered it too. Decent. All right, good to know. They are active. Well, this guy's not looking too hot. He's got two blind eyes. Look at his eyes. This probably can't see. Swim to the big camera. Uh, here's our first one today. Uh, totally blind fish. Look at his eyes. That's insane. Um, he, he looks it too. He's skinny, missing whiskers. He's having a rough go of it. But, uh, First fish of the day, so I can't complain about that. We'll get him back, see if we can get another. Okay, he was right, right off the edge of this bank. So, I don't know. I don't know what that tells me. It's it's moving a lot quicker than it looks out there. I'm learning my baits are just drifting. Um, so I don't know. We might, uh, it, it's telling that he's up in the shallows. I might hit a spot that's more of a shallow area in a few minutes here if this doesn't work out, but I'll get another bait out there on this rod and see if we can get another. He about took the whole pole line. I can't believe he's out there in that current. That did not take long at all. A couple minutes on the bottom and he was on. He feels big too. Yeah, he's good. He's a good one. Staying right up on top. There you go. Dig and swim at me, buddy. Perfect. Yep, that's a nice one, really nice one. I can't believe they're sitting down in that current like that. It's hilarious. A 
Come on in, pal. Not that I'll actually land this guy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to lift him up over the uh, the rocks over there. Now's the time when these other ones get clobbered when I'm messing with this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Real decent channel cat. Come here, pal. Look at that guy. I'm gonna have to whip you. Whew. Real decent fish. Fresh bait right on the bottom. <sighs> Hook pinned. I mean, look at that. That's not getting off. That's just a three out too. Train going over. <laughs> decent. Look at that guy. Real healthy, especially compared to that last one. Took up a bit of a tumble on the way here, but there he is. <laughs> real nice looking fish. Uh, real fun in that current on that light tackle, so that's fun. Sitting out there in that fast stuff, man, but he's getting fat. You can see the gut, he's working, eating all them dead shad and bluegills and whatever else he can find down there, so we'll get him back and do it all over again. All right, buddy, sorry I dropped you. Get you on back in. All right, goodbye. Sweet. Be cool if there's a bunch more like that down there. Rebaited. I just had a few spare small chunks, so I just threw them on there as opposed to a bigger piece. So I haven't wasted anything yet, so that's good. Let's throw him right back out there. Sweet. All right, where you want to be. Now the difference between the three rods here, these two have Carolina rigs on the bottom, but the two on the right. The one on the left here has a high-low rig. So it could be another one of those deals where uh, the fish are just in on the bottom. They're not, you know, the, the lowest one is like six inches off the bottom. So maybe that's making the difference. I'm about to, I think I'm gonna recast this guy, maybe rebate, because there's obviously fish in this faster moving stuff. So it'd be fun to get them on all the rods. Yeah, baits are still good. Yeah, that's that's the rig there. I don't know if I showed you or not. Two and a half ounce sinker, high low rig. But yeah, I mean, you wouldn't think it'd make that big a difference, but I have learned it does. So I'll get new bait out. We're on. I was just talking about. It. We're on. I was just talking about this rod not getting hit too. He feels pretty big. Yeah, baby. Each rod's gotten a fish so far. How funny is that? Wonder which one he hit. I'm betting the bottom one, but you just never know. Getting in that current. Again, this one doesn't feel too bad either. Yeah, another nice, real nice channel. Get over here. Oh yeah, and he actually hit the top one. Wow, you'd figure it'd be bottom only, but he is uh, mixing it up. Yep, my rod holder came out. Darn it, let's have to do that. Sweet. He said that Asian carp sounded pretty good to him. I don't blame you. He was pinned, man, look at that hook. Okay, fish number three now. Another real nice healthy channel. I'm starting to get fat. Um, yeah, they just look great in this part of the river. Real healthy looking. Uh, not seeing any like parasites. Maybe a couple little leech things here, but for the most part, they're looking real good. So uh, one on each pole so far. So let's see if we can double up on each pole now. I'm, I'm really surprised. When I got down here, it looked good. But uh, once I started getting lines out, the current looked like it was gonna be too fast. It's just bullying my weights down there but these fish don't care they're hungry probably getting like a little evening bite in before it's gonna get too cold for uh, them to be moving so I'll take it anything's better at this point so that's awesome we'll get back at it all right pal away you go ruined his dinner plans but that's okay really fun in this current I mean 
they get going away from you and that current just takes them like right out here he didn't fight much but as soon as he got off that water break like in here man he was he was fun so let's do it again casted this white one out this one just got clobbered oh he feels big too oh he's up at the top already he feels heavier than the other ones but it's kind of hard to tell oh, I don't want him to go next to this other line spiraling Get out of my other line. Yeah, he's not too big. I'm just kind of horsing him. There we go. I'm about to do something about this line on my right here. It hasn't gotten touched since that first one. All right, another just dandy for this river. Um, come here. One thing I am noticing about these fish right now compared to when I saw them say, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Uh, let me get this hook out and show you. Like I said, one thing I'm noticing, there isn't any more mud on their bellies. You see that? When they're real inactive in the winter, they just sit on the bottom and they muddy themselves up. These fish have been moving, so that's good to see. Obviously, I'm catching them in ripping current, so they have been moving. Their guts are getting full, and they're hungry. So I picked a good day to come out here. It's cold out, it's still like, right at 40 so it's really not that warm but these fish don't care so we'll keep at them see if we can do it again he hit it right when i got this other pole in how sweet so i like it fast action that's uh four now just four get this guy back in man he's... okay there you go <laughs> sweet pretty impressive we'll get new bait on that one and uh get it right back out there so hopefully one of these other two goes off here quick too that'd be sweet I was rebaiting my far right rod, it's right there. And then this guy comes along. Yeah, he's big. He hasn't come up yet. I think he's big. He's bigger, he's hooked funny. Yeah, he's good, he's real good. Probably the biggest one yet. Good thing I got that other rod out of the way, he would've swam right into that line. Dang, look at this guy. Real nice. He hit the bottom double hook rig. Definitely the biggest of the day so far. Now I'm waiting on this blue one to get tagged. Perfect. Decent. Yep. Another perfect hook set. Probably gonna need the pliers. Yeah, he's biting on me too. Don't be doing that now. Ouch. This one here is kind of mean. Don't bite me. Ow. God dang. This one's getting hit. Okay, other pole's getting hit. Here he is. Probably the biggest of the day so far. But he's getting hit, so. Get you back. Of course now what uh, he won't take. 
that'd be my luck. <laughs> Shoot. He was getting hit. Okay, well, we'll leave that up for speculation. See if he wants to play some more. But, uh, of course, wanted to show you the big guy some more, but this one was getting hit. I guess I could have just set him down, but he kind of ripped my fingers up. I was kind of ready to get rid of him. Yeah, he's still there. He's on. Nope, he spit it. That's frustrating. <laughs> that bait looks good. We're going to get that back out just so we have something out there. Okay. Rebate, re rig, all the good stuff. He was close. It's been a little bit since a bite. <laughs> I probably look like an idiot with my hood on like that. Ah, there you go, pal. Man, they're acting funny today. <laughs> well, which one do you eat? Top one again. This is a little guy here. Still fun that current though, man. It feels like a whopper. Uh oh. Hook is, or sinker's grabbed up. There we go. Sweet. Just a little guy, but very much welcome. I think this guy hit twice. I say that because my bottom one is missing pretty much all the bait. I bet that first initial bite that he had, he ripped that bait off and came back for this one. This guy's pale though. Check him out, he's pretty though. Sweet, let's do it again. Do this all day. Boop. Oh yeah, another nice one it feels like. Really gonna keep my away from this other line right now. Come on, pal. He's not as big as he initially felt like. Still a good one though. There you go. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> it's nice when they do that. Decent. Alright, finally. Ooh, got him hooked on the front of the lip. It's always a weird spot to hook him. See that? Jeez. He wasn't going anywhere, though. <sighs> Have to need the pliers. Maybe. Yep, definitely. <laughs> okay, I want to say this is Fish 7. Um, he's got the bumpies. I don't know if you can see him in the light. See all those? So they, I don't know what that's called, but you see it every now and then. Kind of yucky, but uh, it's really prominent early spring because their 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 muscles are real tight and firm. So uh, yeah, got the bumpies. That's cool. The fish seven. Um, probably gonna give it another 20, 25 minutes. I can definitely tell the bite has slowed down a lot since I've been here. Because for a while there, it was just bam, bam, bam. These two rods on the left were just getting railed. So uh, yeah, we'll give it 20 minutes, or maybe one real nice one would put me out of here. But uh, yeah, fish seven, we'll put him back and see if we can get another one. Goodbye, buddy. Let's do it again someday. Off he goes. Okay, that's gonna wrap up this video. I'm kind of surprised nothing else hit. 
you know, I, like I said, I was going to give it 20 more minutes or one more fish. Um, definitely was on the back end of the bite. I bet if I was here like a good hour, hour and a half earlier, I think we would probably have caught close to 20. I mean, they were just in here. Um, but I got off work, came here, only fished for like an hour and hour and a half maybe. So really not that long of a sit for seven fish. That's pretty darn good, I think, for this time of year. I mean, it's 40 degrees. It's probably in the 30s now. Um, sun went down. It's, it's getting kind of chilly. I'm glad I'm getting out in here when I am. These geese are so mad that I'm here right now. It's kind of hilarious. But uh, yeah, I two things that surprised me today. I'll let these geese pass by. Two things that surprised me today. One being how fast this current is right here. The current is ripping right past this piling up to the next little bridge here. And it looks slow, but the, the current on the bottom was just beating up my baits and the poles are just bouncing the whole time. And I was really shocked that the fish were even willing to come up into that faster moving water to eat at all. You know, this time of year, usually they're real stagnant, but like I showed you, none of the fish had any mud on their bellies, which a lot of times they do when it's colder out because they're just sitting flat on the bottom and they're not moving a whole lot. So these fish are actively moving up river to get my bait. So that's a good sign. Uh, we do have some warm weather coming up, but we have a little bit of a dip this weekend. So this will get down in the 20s again for highs, but uh, next week we're talking 50s, 60s. So that's phenomenal. The other thing that really surprised me about today was um, how hard they were hitting it. A lot of times this year, this time of the year, they're just pecking. They're just kind of tugging at it. And a lot of times when you crank down on them, that's you setting the hook. I think almost every single fish I caught today was hooked up before I even picked the rod up. So that's a good sign too. These fish are hungry, they're active. They all had big bulging guts on them. So I think the catfishing is about to get real hot here. We need, we get a good warm sunny day with some wind. I think we're gonna put a real beating on them. All right, today was great, but I think we can do better. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a whole lot to me. Uh, but yeah, we got more like this coming up, so stay with us. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.